Good afternoon everyone, it's currently 6 p.m. I came from work at 5 p.m. Today is the first day after Easter holidays. The Easter holidays took like four days at all, but for me and for Gwen it was not really the holidays we would like rest off. The Easter holidays were all about celebration and working in the same time, so we really did not have much time to rest. I just woke up from my coffee nap. For those who've never heard about coffee nap, it's uh, basically a simple thing. If you will come from work, you feel tired, but you still have so many things you want to do in your afternoon. There is just two things you need to do. Prepare yourself a cup of coffee and some dark comfortable place where you are going to sleep. The thing about the coffee nap, you will drink a coffee and right after finishing your mug, you will transfer yourself into your bed where you will stay exactly 15 up to 20 minutes. Set up your alarm for really exactly 20 minutes because if you would continue on your sleeping, you could reach into the phase of deep sleep. And if you would wake up, for example, after 40 minutes, you will wake up much more tired and destroyed than before you decided to take a coffee nap. So the important thing about the coffee, get a strong coffee, finish it at once, get yourself into a bed, set an alarm for 20 minutes and you will feel refreshed. I've been doing this coffee nap things for about like one month. It's really working for me. I can really feel like more energetic after I will get up from the coffee nap and I can finish all the things I'm planning to do in the afternoon. Hello guys, for those who are new to this Filipina checking YouTube channel, my name is Jacob and I'm making videos together with my wife Wendy. I am a Czech boy, Wendy is a Filipina, currently we are living happily in the heart of Europe, Czech Republic, but we are making and sharing videos of travel and lifestyle with you through the platform YouTube. If you just found out our channel, go check the other videos, there is plenty of videos in our channel. If you like our content, you can support us with the like and don't forget the subscribe button, so in the future you will don't miss any of the new videos. But the thing why we've met here today is not certainly about coffee nap, sleeping. Today is going to be about the huge announcement about the things which are going to change in our lives with Gwen. Together with uploading this video you are watching right now will be made a new playlist in our YouTube channel. I'm still actually figuring out the title but the playlist will be all about our moving back to the Philippines. Yes, me with Gwen are planning to move back to the Philippines. For Gwen is the moving back, for me it's a moving one way. I've never been living in the Philippines, I spent there just one month. But the new playlist you will find out in our channel will be the place where we will be sharing our progress, process and all the things, whatever it takes with moving to the another country. I am highly convinced that the moving to the another country, even to the different part of the world, can be quite a tricky decision. But me with Gwen already made this decision that this is gonna happen to us. And before the moving itself, there is still gonna happen so many things. That time, when we are still living here in the Czech Republic, we will do as much as we can to prepare ourselves for the moving as much as we can so the moving can be smooth without any other complications and make it an enjoyable and happy moment for us than just like horrifying disaster which could also happen. One of the things we have to handle are all the documents we are having together such as like marriage certificates, put it everything together, my documents which are in the Czech language needs to be translated into English language so it can be read by the officers in the Philippines so there will be no issues with getting the visa. Also the thing about my driving license, I have Czech driving license, I will need to get the international driving license so I'm not required anymore to go to the driving school again in the Philippines. The other thing right before the leaving this country is to sum up all the personal things we will plan to bring. It's really not that much. We are not living
living in our own place here we are renting we don't have like many things so it will be really just like clothes personal things the things which are very valuable to us and those will be the things we will bring to the Philippines. As I was saying that we really don't have many things to bring with us. Me with Gwen decided once we are living here in the Czech Republic, we will try to live a low-key life, not spending much, saving as much as we can. So we will be ready to start our life once we are already in the Philippines. Which brings me to the another thing. Right here in the Czech Republic, both of us with Gwen are having our own jobs which means we are going to lose our job positions once we are moving to the philippines because gwen is working as a teacher in the kindergarten and primary school you cannot do that remotely and i'm working as a farmer the same thing being a farmer cannot be done remotely maybe except working in the farming simulator once we will lose our job we still need to have some kind of income so it means we will try to find some remote work, online work already while we are still living here. Gwen already has her remote work together with her primary work. For me, I'm planning to start looking for a job during September, October because that time is the end of the season for farming. I will not be long hours at work and I can focus for two jobs like morning is farming and in the afternoon could be any kind of remote work so once we are in the philippines we will not be struggling with no income that's the quite important thing what are our plans once we are already moved in the philippines when all the moving went smooth and we are already in the philippines of the Cebu island the first thing which we are already working on while being here in the Czech Republic is the finishing Gwen's house in the Philippines. The house is already being repaired with the help of Gwen's siblings. We owe them a huge thanks for the hard work they are doing around the house. Both of us with Gwen are very glad that we are still able to be repairing the house on the other side of the world. That's like the crazy thing which makes me sometimes being scared once you are repairing your own house your own living you would like to be in person and checking all the things if it's going right or wrong for us it's not possible to be checking but we are believing everything will go fine and we will have place to live in the philippines the another thing once we are in the philippines will be getting keen on the life in the Philippines. This part is more focused for me because Gwen is a Filipino citizen, she knows everything, how the things works. But for me, it will be different. It will be hard for me. Different culture, different people, different language, different weather, hot weather. For me, the temperatures which are comfortable are like around 15 to 20. And if the whole year is in this kind of temperature, I'm more than happy. In the Philippines, I will be sweating during the day or the night, during working, during sleeping, doesn't matter <laughs> because the temperatures are above 30. Gwen was right now mentioning that the temperatures in the Philippines are like super high. It was not like that in the past. Something is changing maybe. I hope that it's just this year and the next years will be like fine temperatures. Fine temperature in the Philippines is like 30 degrees. Once we are in the Philippines, we would also like to travel around the whole Philippines, not just the Cebu Island, but visit all the parts like Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, all those places while working, of course. And I also hope and I believe that my plan for becoming a diver instructor will go smooth. I'm already starting my diving training here in the Czech Republic. The video about the whole diving thing will be separated in the future. And the most and the last important thing about our plans once we are living in the Philippines is living happy life and sharing that happy life to you through our videos. And now comes the moment which all of you I believe are excited about when this whole moving thing is going to happen. We agreed together with Gwen that we would like to 
travel to the Philippines next January, so it means January 2025. We don't really have the exact date yet. We are checking the plane tickets, we are trying to get the cheapest ones. We really don't care if it's gonna be the 5th of January or the 28th of January. It's really, it's really not important for us. The important is that we will get to the Philippines. Of course, there could be some factors which could cancel the whole moving of me and Gwen to the Philippines. The factors could be like a huge injury to any of us, which I believe nothing like that is going to happen, or there will be no budget for the moving to the Philippines. And there is the third thing, which both of us with Gwen would be happy if that would happen, but it would cancel our moving to the Philippines. This is the question for you, I will let you answer it in the comments. What do you think? What's the third factor which could cancel our moving to the Philippines? I'm curious guys if you will find out. And here we are guys, that's our plan for the future, the whole moving thing in the Philippines. Here I'm going to end this video, so thank you guys for watching, for those who are already supporting us, thank you so much and, and be patient because in the next year there is gonna be so many amazing things which are going to happen. Thank you guys for watching and take care always.